do the um the snow prayer as well please be, be mindful let's just be uh ready and and be sensitive to the holy spirit let him do what he wants to do in our lives amen the lord is mighty he has been doing awesome things since the first day of this victory month and we trust him to do wonderful things again also tonight since the beginning of the snow amen so tonight we're looking at government in north and south america receiving divine help for possessing the lands don't mind me if i don't go through everything line by line and and we pray because i don't want to take our time as well amen in the book of genesis 9 27 and God, God shall enlarge Japheth, and he shall dwell in the tents of shame, and Canaan shall be his servant. You know, in First Chronicles 4.10, we read about when um, Jabez said, enlarge my territory, which coincidentally is also one of the prayers we're going to pray tonight. Then Isaiah, you know, 42 verse 4 also talks about expansion. Now, we're praying about government North America. This is government north america you know our sub change is part of god farming north america amen i want you to have a burden in your heart to pray for your church that is what is uppermost in god's agenda amen anyone who has god's agenda as their priority they can be sure to get what god has to give but if god's agenda if god's priority is not your priority god is not obligated to do anything for you you are not on his agenda at all God's mind, God's, what pains God must pain you. What keeps God up at night must keep you up at night. What makes God sad must make you sad. What makes God happy must make you happy. Jesus said, my father loves him because I do all that pleases him. I do what pleases him so he hears me. Amen. So we're going to pray tonight. He said, government is not new in the history here in the United States, among the Pentecostal, you know, the Lord led our late national overseer. You are first national overseer, Reverend Dr. Francis Rema in 81. They formed the church in 84, um, in, you know, by, with four members. And we thank God for what God has done. Let's give the Lord a hand. Let's celebrate God. Let's celebrate our leaders for what God has enlarged them to do. The same four people, they had the vision and and we know there are probably some other people that came at that time that did nothing. But they came and they had the vision. And uh, the man of God, as you have read, in, in so dedicated, picking up people back and forth, doing all, all things. It wasn't paid just to make sure the church solidified. But you see other people today, they want to be paid. But there are people at that time that they were sold out to God. So when you are sold out to God, God prospers the work. But if you're after money, then you not get the money. Amen. Very sold out. It's a man I, I cherish. I so much. I, I, I'm yet to meet someone who met him and their life was not influenced by him. That he did not help. I've never met that person that Reverend Aremo met that he wasn't helped. I've never met that person. Is that, is that wonderful? I'm sure his reward is, 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 is plenteous in heaven. Amen. So now we have several branches, 23 assemblies, and we thank God for the, for the national leadership, for what God has been doing to our, our current national overseer, Pastor Sunday Adu. Let's also celebrate him as well. Let's celebrate him and all the members of, this, uh, of the National Executive Board. So North America, as you know, we have many, many countries. You know, If you have to take the whole North America, if you want to, segment it into Central America, South America, Latin, all kinds of, you know, the Caribbean, different, different countries. But if you have to take it as a whole, we have, they said we have about 41 countries here and a population of 580 million. And uh, the U.S. by itself is 328 million. Uh, Mexico is 125, Canada 27 million. You know, uh, so most of the most of the population in North America is, you know, you can find it between the U.S., Mexico, and Canada. Then you have all the other nations. You have South America, you have Brazil, Colombia, Argentina, Peru, and many other, many, many, many other nations. Now, we want to believe God. We thank God for what God has done so far, but we know God can do more through us if we are serious about it. And if we really, really want to, because that means the church is about almost 35 years, right? 1984 to now, 
35 years old. We can say we've made progress, but also if we want to look at it, we've not made progress. If we want to critically look at it, we are still behind the curve. Why? Because I know some other people that came after us and they are boomerang. So you, you don't judge yourself by yourself. You judge yourself by what God can do through you. And it's not God's fault. It's our fault. Amen. God is always there waiting. The people that were able to launch out, they got God. So, so we need to really quicken ourselves. And that's not from our assembly. That's not from we here. What are we doing to make his work go forward? But tonight, God will give us a breakthrough in Jesus' name. So we're speaking about receiving divine help for possessing the lands. Everyone that made impact, every church, every church that have made impact is because they received divine help. Even up to where we are today, it's because we received divine help. We cannot be ungrateful that there are other churches that started at the same time, but they are no longer here. At the same time, GoFundMe started. There are other churches also that started before GoFundMe that they are still one branch church. So we cannot forget that as well. Amen. I know. We, so we, we give glory to God. But we know God can do more. He said he's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, more than what we can ask or think. More than what we can ask or think. So that means we are still shortchanging ourselves. Because we can, yeah, more than what we can ask or think. According to the boy, it's going to be according to the that's the difference. According to the power that is working in you. So we can't leave everything to God's face. No, it is according to how much power have you generated? The people that are exploding, they have generated some level of power. They have generated some things that is working for them. And that's why God is doing exceedingly. And we know He will do also for us in Jesus' name. You know. We have been commended. We have done a lot. But by the grace of God, God has helped, I mean, God I mean, North America to do so many things. So many things. You know, we've established many, you know, many missions abroad. We've sponsored many places. We've op opened, you know, opened doors in many places. We've gone Jamaica, Mexico, all over. Even Australia has been, you know, it's been the North America that has been helping. So we give God the glory. You know, and this has not been, it's not been, it's not, it's not been, it's not been cheap. It's been expensive. But God has been supplying our needs, you know. And even through all this, North America has been paying the tithe of tithes, you know, to our, to our international church, which is, which is highly, highly commendable. I'm not sure of any other field, but they put us here that we got a great hate to be able to do all that. So, but we also know that God can do more through us. Amen. And is going to use us. Amen. Let us rise up as we pray. Let us rise up as we pray. And let's make sure we pray again. Pray very well. So that God can even see how concerned you are about his work. Amen. If the only criteria God wants to use to answer tonight is how concerned, how prayerful you are about his work. Make sure he finds it in you. Because you never know his criteria. Amen. Amen. So let's make sure we pray very well. Um, I think today, no, we have to receive divine help. There's no, there's no doubt. I think on my phone as I was, um, my work phone, I think I was coming, uh, something came in through my, one of these news just came in through my phone. I think you see NBC or so. He said, um, what's the name of this guy? I know he's an edge fund guy. I can't, you see, Griffin or whatever. He just paid for um, an, a penthouse in New York, the most expensive ever, $238 million. $238. And we, so if you know, if, if I'm now, if I'm saying you have to receive divine help, and he made the money here in the U United States, the most, they said the most expensive in the US, he just bought it, $238 million. <laughs> That's no mortgage. 200 and penthouse, yeah, penthouse. You know what you're talking about? It's not the penthouse of the two, uh, two bedroom, you know that. That penthouse, I said, you're talking about a whole floor. That's what that is. What are you talking about? <laughs> Amen. But our God is able. Uh, how many people have faith tonight? Our God is able to do exceeding. So if somebody in this land can have $238 million, there is no way that we will lack resources to do what God has called us to do. Yeah. I'll put it this way. There's no way I will lack resources to do what God has called me to do. 
Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Let us thank God for raising God for me in North America and blessing his church. There with all blessings in the spiritual realm. I want you to raise up your voice like I said. Thank God. This is the mind of God. This is the mind of God. If God for me wasn't here, you would not be here. And that's, that's the truth. Makoto rame kele broto mazindia. Rokoto shekele brakato skali andre bazo. Father, we thank you for raising up government. We thank you for raising up government and, and blessing us with all blessing in the spiritual realm. We worship you. Let us thank God for the dynamic, exemplary, and selfless leadership the Lord has given our church in North America. Thank God for all our leaders, all our resident pastors. Let's thank God for all our ministers. Let's thank God for the National Overseer, for National Secretary, the ANO. Let's thank God for the members of the executive board. Let's thank God for all our pastors, for their selfless leadership. Thank God because they have, they have no scandal. Let us bless the Lord that our various branches in, in America, that we are standing firm. That we are, we are standing firm on the faith once delivered. Let us bless the name of the Lord. Rakato shetel embrando zanda. Reke de bosotoria kalimande prohoshe kende. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now let's pray that as we remain faithful and committed to the Lord, that God will fulfill his word to us by granting us the possession of good land for the gospel. Let's pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Le kato sarianda brakos. In the mighty name of Jesus, as we remain faithful, Father, grant us the possession of the good land for the gospel. As we remain faithful, grant us the possession of the good land for the gospel. In the name of Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus, in the name of, let's pray, let's lift up our voice. As we remain faithful and committed to the Lord, he will fulfill his good word to us. He will grant us the possession of our land. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we we'll pray. Let's pray for the financial growth of all our churches in North America. None of our churches will lack what is needed for our overall growth and development. Let's pray in the mighty name of Jesus. We'll pray, we'll pray, we'll pray for our financial growth. None of us will lack. None of our churches will lack. None of our churches will lack. What is needed for our growth and development financially? The Bible said the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Ah, come on, raise up your voice. Raise up your voice. Pray as if you, you are concerned about God's work. Let's pray that the decadence of the American society will not adversely affect our upcoming young generation. The Lord will make them impact their world positively in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, the decadence of this society will not negatively impact our young generation. In Jesus' name, we we'll pray. Amen. Let's say a bigger amen. amen. You know, we say uh, uh, if something is bigger, if, some, if people are expanding, if the church of God is advancing, it's because there are some people being used by the Lord to get that work done. So let's pray to the Lord that God will raise among us great, um, God will raise among us uh, professionals that are financially viable. Professionals, great professionals that are financially what? You know when we're talking about that, we're talking about ourselves. Let's, God will raise great professionals, professionals that are financially viable. To advance the work of God in government North America. Let's pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Raise great and professionally viable professionals. Raise great and viable professionals financially in the name of Jesus. 
that we advance the cause of the gospel in North America in the name of Jesus. As we are using our own Sunday school, let the word of God grow mightily. To our Sunday school manual, let the word of God grow mightily. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's say a better amen. amen. The Bible told us that on the day of Pentecost, after uh, the, you know, the, the 120, after they've gathered and the Holy Ghost is descended, the Bible said when Peter preached, how many souls were one? How many? How many? 3,000. 3,000 were one. Then he got to 5,000. Then he got to they can't count it anymore. On that day, just simple sermon, 3,000 people were one. That was because it was in the power of the apostolic that he, that he ministered. It was just a simple, simple uh, ministration. I, I have noticed in my own little way, un, unless, unless, we, unless you walk in the power of the apostolic, you, you not make impact. And when I'm, not I'm not talking about people that just put color and whatever. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the real power of the Holy Spirit. I'm not talking about people that, that call themselves apostles. I'm not talking about that. That is not proven. Because apostles are those that break frontiers. Where, where there's nothing before. I mean, so we are going to pray that God we, allow, God we empower us, multiply us apostolically. You know, apostolically is when that 3,000 hit the church in one day. From 120, 3,000 in one day. So if you have concern for God for me like I do, we are going to pray with every bit of our heart. Lord, multiply apostolically by the power of the Holy Spirit all our churches in North America. Let's pray in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm not hearing you praying very well. Pray with passion in your heart. Recado se bradalianda bragado zebre gede. Enta barande lebo sontoria claraba shande. Multiply apostolically all our branches in government. Let's pray that God will provide for the Even Sweet project and also provide for us to develop our own government city. Come on, let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. All our debts in the Even Sweet project will be wiped off. We will practically pay for everything before March. God, we also raise up in the name of Jesus to develop our own gospel city. Let's pray that God will equip the leadership in North America with great apostolic tools of discipleship and fivefold ministry for exponential growth this ten time in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. That prayer is too cold. You're not praying. You're not praying. If I say pray for your enemy now, you'll be praying harder than this. You're not praying. And I'm sure God is not impressed. If, you, if your prayer with this one and you compare it to the other one is harder than this, then you, your, passion, your, your priority is switched. What, what, what makes impact to God is the souls. If, God, if house of change is not here, how are you going to be here? Answer me that. If house of change is not here, some... Lives that God has rescued from the pit of hell, how would that happen? And there are so, so many like that, that God wants to reach to. Amen. Amen. Nothing happens except by prayer. So I want us to pray very well. Lord, Lord equip, our equip our leadership in North America, in North America. with great apostolic tools of discipleship and fivefold ministry for exponential growth. Let's pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on. Skebratoma rademo sanderea. Equip our church. Equip our leadership in North America with great apostolic tools of discipleship and fivefold ministry. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. All our pastors, all our leaders. All our ministers, all our deacons, all our elders, in the name of Jesus, let's pray for all our children that have come to the U.S. 
God will perfect their situation. Let's pray that the U.S. government, God will use this country as the Japheth to bring down every Islamic agenda all over the world. God will use the U.S. to break the backbone of Islamic agenda all over the world. In the name of Jesus. Let's pray that America will continue to fulfill the, the plan of God in the world. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Let's pray to the Lord that God. We provide you um, government North America. With every resource that we need to penetrate into South America. Let's pray in the name of Jesus. Let's pray in the mighty name of Jesus. The, the people. The finances. The connections. God release unto, unto us in the name of Jesus. Release the people. Release the connections. Release the finances. In the name of Jesus. Release the givers. Release the finances. Release the people. Let's pray that God will provide them. Let's pray for our national overseer and all the members of the executive board. That God will continue to uphold them. That God will continue to strengthen them. God will give them wisdom, knowledge and understanding. God will show them. In the name of Jesus. What it takes to take over this country. This continent in the name of Jesus. Let's pray that God will raise up covenant helpers for government in North America. And bear us on eagles wings of flight. Across all the 50 states. Let's pray that God will raise committed workers. In the name of Jesus. To reach out to nations and mission field. And God will bless us back in a hundredfold. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Father we thank you. We give you all the glory. You are the only one who can help us. You have helped others and you have helped us in the past. At this time we desperately need your help. We are not satisfied with where government is. We are not satisfied with where we are. Because we know you can do exceedingly abundantly more and more than we can ask or think. So we need you to help us. We need you to provide divine helpers. We want to possess every length and breadth of this country. We want to possess every length and breadth of this continent. We want to possess every length and breadth of North America. We want to possess every length and breadth of South America. Father, let it be so in Jesus' name. We pray that you raise up among us people that are passionate for the, for the expansion of the gospel. People that are passionate for your kingdom to be established on earth. Amen. Raise up among us in Jesus name. Amen. Father make us one. Amen. Father make us one. Amen. Make us one. Amen. In Jesus victorious name we pray. Amen. Let's say amen. The plan to solve that problem. So I want you to be rest assured and make sure. You are attentive because God will bless somebody, and I know that person is me. Amen. So let's make sure that we connect. Amen. So we are looking at the, a new order. That's what we're looking at. We look um, uh, second Cor uh, the principal text, Second Corinthians five seventeen. Right. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, you know I'm reading this version. He said, "The new creation has come; the old has gone; the new is here." I like that. He said, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone. The new is here. Um, and in Revelation 21, 5, he said, he who was sitting on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, write this down for these words are trustworthy and true. I hope you come here ready to pray. You know, I'm, I've not come here to preach to you. I hope you have come ready to pray. See, as I come to pray, I've been praying to God that, you know, as whoever God will touch is going to be me. So, <laughs> amen. 
So I, I'm not, you know, except in the ministration which will pray, I want you to be focused on praying because I'm not going to look at you and pray. I will pray for myself. Amen. Because there are some battles that God wants you to fight. There are some battles that prayer that God wants you to pray. There are some prayer you may go to anointed man of God. It will not work because God wants you to pray that prayer. And that's the truth. And that is the truth. If you have been going, man of God, pray, pray, pray. And nothing, God, that God is telling you, you must fight that battle. Amen. So, if you have been drinking tea and eating burger, whatever, you know, that's, that's all on you. But I know, in this snow, if God is going to touch somebody, he's going to touch me. Amen. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. So I want you to be bubbling. I want you to be alive because we are going to pray. And it's a, it's a warfare prayer. Now, what, what the Lord has laid on my heart, we're going to talk about tonight is, you know, you can title it in, in, very, in various ways. You can call it the travail of the firstborn. Or you can call it the, the, the agony of the firstborn. Or you can call it the new order of the firstborn. So whatever you want to title it, and, and we'll, 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 bring, we'll break it down. Now, right from the creation, we're gonna, not going to take our time, but we want to lay some foundation. You may say, okay, I'm not a firstborn. Why am I here? Then why am I praying? Right from the, right from the, the creation, God, when God made man, Satan also has been after um, he has also been after man, you know, right from the first person that God created. He's been after Adam. And he's been after every firstborn to derail, manipulate, nullify their life, make sure they don't get to where, where they're going. He's been after that. He's always. Look at the Bible. Look at Adam. Look at Eve. Satan succeeded in their lives. Amen. Um. um in, if you look at uh, Luke three, you know Luke chapter three, he said, and this was son of this, this was the son of this. So they want to go to thirty-eight. He said, and Adam, the son of God, the firstborn of God, is the firstborn. He's a firstborn of God. But look at that. Yeah, as far as human being is concerned. Now, when he got to Cain, Cain himself was a firstborn, right? What happened? He killed his brother. Satan has been after firstborn since then. So, then, um, you know, you, you know that, that in the life of Joseph was supposed to be the firstborn, right? But they tricked and they put him at the 11th, right? Reuben, that was the firstborn, he also blew it. Am I correct? When that slept, the Satan pushed him when that slept with his father's uh, concubine. And he inherited a curse. So, Amnon, the firstborn of David, also went and slept with his own uh, sister. So, it's been like that. Pattern. Go and look. Esau was the firstborn. Who got it? Jacob got it. Manasseh was the firstborn. Who got it? Ephraim. Just go and look through down the line. Well, Perez and all that. You know, so many, so many, so many. Satan is after firstborn because God already said the firstborn belongs to him. Amen. Now you think it, why, 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 why am I concerned about, you know, being a firstborn? We'll, 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 we'll tell us in a little bit. In Exodus 4.22, I believe, when, when the Lord sent Moses to, to Pharaoh, he said, therefore, he said, then you would tell him, this is what the Lord says, Israel is my firstborn. So I command you, let my son go so he can worship me. Because since you have refused, I will now kill your firstborn son. So he said the whole nation of Israel is his firstborn. And the Bible tells us in Galatians, he said, if you are, you know, if you are Abraham's seed, then you are heirs according to the promise. By implication, we are also firstborn. Because we are spiritual Jews. Is that in your Bible? Is that in your Bible? So, 
So when I said the battle of the firstborn or the travail of the firstborn, you know you are now you now you know is part you are included. Um, and when I'm talking about firstborn, I, I'm not talking about the natural firstborn only. I'm talking about preeminence. There are some people, they are the financial firstborn in their family. There are some people, they are the academic firstborn in their family. And if you, if you don't know it, if you belong to House of Change, you're a firstborn. I mean, that we know that. So, many of, some of the battle, or many of the battle you are facing is a battle of the firstborn, a battle of emergence. A battle to become who you are supposed to be. So there is pressure because Satan is after the firstborn. He has his own agenda for the firstborn. God also has his own agenda for the firstborn. Don't forget that every choice of God is a target of the devil. Everyone. Every choice of God. So when you begin to feel uneasiness, restlessness, and you, you, don't, you, you feel like you, you should have been better than this, that's your emergence that wants to come forth. Amen. So when I'm talking about false, false, but now, like I said, there, there are some people you are supposed to be the Moses in your family. That's why you're facing the most battle in your family. If you don't make it, your family is doomed. That's the truth. If, if Joseph never made it, what would have happened? They would have died. That is why the devil is after the firstborn. And that is why the devil is after you. Now, like I mentioned, the order. Why did the new order come in? The order from the sin that came from Adam. Every born that came from the lineage of Adam got that. So that curse, that manipulation already is inherited in everybody. That old order, that firstborn must not amount to anything, must become something or riffraff or not make it, has been inherited from, from Adam. That's the old order. And that's why you need a new order. That's why when Jesus came, the Bible tells us, he also called Jesus the firstborn. Hebrews 2, 2 11 uh, to 16. He's, he called him, um, you know, we talk about the firstborn, the invisible God. Then in Colossians 1.15, it says, The Son is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. Now let me make the, make the, uh, the connection. Jesus was not created. Jesus is God. He wasn't created. But in order for him to invalidate what Satan already put in place, he also has to become a man that set another order of firstborns. That's why the Bible said, he is the firstborn from the dead. Why? So that everyone else that believes in him also, will rise from the dead. Because everyone that came from the lineage of Adam, never rose from the dead. They are doomed to perish. But, because Jesus came as a man, he experienced a man, he rose from the dead, and the Bible called him the firstborn from the dead. Everyone that believes in him and connects to his new order will rise from the dead. Amen. For you to know that the firstborn is real, why didn't Jesus come to the tribe of Reuben? Tell me. Why didn't he come from the tribe of Reuben? And part of the prayer we are going to pray. And if you look at the Judah, um, I believe if I if I write it here in one of our, our, our probably in one of our prayer points that we're probably going to pray tonight. He said, "Unto whom it will belong?" Is I believe, yeah, Genesis forty nine ten. Genesis forty nine ten. Let me see where I wrote it down. If you have it, if you can put it on the screen there, yeah. And he said, "The scepter will not depart from Judah, nor the ruler's staff from his descendant." Until the coming of the one to whom it belongs. Amen. So Jesus cannot go to anywhere. He has to go to come through Judah so that he can fulfill that promise. And you will see how you also need to, that prayer needs to work for you. 
Because there are some things that belong to you that is in the hand of the enemy. Now it's time for you to come and say, Lord, it belongs to me. This is my coming. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So I said it. I said, Jesus established the new order of the firstborn. The Bible tells us that he, he, um, he rose from the dead. He became preeminent. And he told us in many places in, in the scripture, he said, That's what, therefore, he is not afraid, he is not ashamed to be called our brother. Is that in your Bible? He said, that's why he is not ashamed to uh, call, uh, call him your brother. He said, I will praise your name among my brothers. Jesus was saying that. I will praise your name among my brothers. So he has established a new order and pattern that must work of firstborn. Don't forget I mentioned, I said, if you look at your life, I mean, just, you just have to look at your life. If you have nothing going for you, why would the devil attack you? If you, are, if you are not meant to be something, why should you be feeling restless that something must happen? It's like when the egg must be hatched, right? There is a lot of commotion that must come from out from inside. There is a bubbling that, okay, this thing must come out. And that's why there must be a new order that invalidates what Satan has set in place through Adam. Amen. That's why the Bible says, if any man is in Christ, he's a new creation. He's, you know, he said the first Adam, the second Adam, the last Adam, the first Adam and the last Adam. If any man is in Christ, he's a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things are what? They have become new. So there must be a new order that is not subjected to that order of the enemy. But we are going to pray. We are going, I mean, we are going to pray. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. I'm going to pray. Um, and, uh, and the world was telling me that, you know, when you, look at the life of, when you look at the life of Jesus before Jesus was born, and that's why he wasn't, he wasn't affected or subjected to that order of Satan. Of Satan. Because he said, Mary said, how would these things be? And, uh, and the, uh, the angel said, the power of the most high will what? We overshadow you. He said that that thing which shall be born of thee shall be what? The seed of the Holy Spirit. Shall be children of the Most High. So he was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. That is why he wasn't subjected to the old order. And the prayer we're going to pray. In fact, I already sent all the prayers to them, I think yesterday or so for and, uh, and I was praying, my, having my vigil this morning, you know, the Lord, Lord told me the prayer that, you know, all these other prayers will keep it, but there's one prayer that we are going to pray about. And that's why we may spend 10 minutes on just, just one prayer. And I want to, like I said, I want to, if 10 minutes feel like th three hours to you, more power to you. Go and ask uh, Jacob. <laughs> Prayers that extracts people from the clutches of the enemy that changes order is not a, a gentle prayer. It's a prayer of warfare. Amen. Especially if you are carrying the seed of a false which, which I believe everyone is, except you just want to surrender to the enemy because the enemy that's after your life is not resting. That's why you get all the dreams you have. That's why you see all kinds of Dream of manipulation because they want to manipulate your destiny. But under this snow, you shall go into a new order in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's rise up. Let's rise up. Let's rise up. We're going to take this song. And based on that song, we will pray the prayer. That, and I want you to pray. Please pray. It, it may not sound some out to you, but pray that prayer with the whole of your heart. Pray that prayer. Um. Um. Oh, okay. That's good. Thank you. Can, can leave that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Holy Spirit flow through me. Holy Spirit flow through me. And make my life what it ought to be. Holy Spirit flow through me. That's the only difference. That Jesus was not subjected to the old order. Because he was conceived by the power of the Holy Ghost. And don't forget the Bible says when you talk about we that are born again. He said born of the spirit. 
not of the will of man, not of flesh and blood. Born of what? Born of what? He said the spirit moves everywhere. You don't know where it's coming from. You don't know where it's going to. That means you must get to a stage where you are not predictable by your enemies. You're not saying amen. Come on. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, spe I'm not, uh, I'm not. I'm not a spectacular girl. Amen. We are going to sing that song. Then we are, then we are going to add. I want you to pray with every, 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 every fiber of your being. Holy Spirit is the one that can give you a new order. He's the one that can re regenerate everything. And that's what he told me to, that we should pray about. Because I always tell God, you have not called us to come here in vain. So I don't want to go and pray prayer that you don't answer. I don't want to pray anything that is not out of your that is not part of what you want us to do. So we'll, we'll take it little by little. Holy Spirit flow through me. Go. Holy Spirit flow through me. Holy Spirit flow through me and make my life what he ought to be holy spirit flow through come on holy spirit flow through me holy spirit flow through me and make my life what you ought to be holy spirit flow through sing holy spirit flow through me holy spirit flow through and make my life what you ought to be Holy Spirit flow, sing it again. Holy Spirit flow through me. Oh, Spirit flow through me and make my life what it ought to be. Holy Spirit flow through me. How many of you here, your life is the way it's supposed to be? Right now, you don't, your life is exactly where it's supposed to be. Everything is Jolly Rancher. There's nothing. You are just good to go. How many people here, you know, you are not even close to where God has destined you to be? So, if that is the case, I want you to pray. That's what he told me to pray. I want you to cry to the Holy Spirit with every fiber. I'm, go, I'm, I'm not going to probably not even hold the mic. Cry with every fiber of a being. The Holy Spirit is the one that made the difference in the life of Jesus. He's the one that he said what is going to be born of you will be the holy thing of God. He's the one that we trust on to establish a new order. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. So that is what our prayer will be centered on. Major, I have prayer points, but that's what he told me that we should spend most of our time on. That Holy Spirit flow through me. Holy Spirit, make my life what it ought to be. Holy Spirit, change my life to what you destined it to be. Holy Spirit, flow through me. Holy Spirit, change my... You know, every way that God... I can give you some... Ex yes, thank you Holy Spirit for reminding me. And it was telling me last night, you know, because you want the Holy Spirit to locate everywhere where you are chained. You know, there are some people that are chained financially. There are some people that are chained uh, physically. There are some people that are chained in their health. You want the fire of the Holy Spirit to locate you, to reset everything that the enemy has messed up with, to reset everything that have been, that have been deactivated, to make to come alive every potential that have, that have been grinded to a halt. We are going to pray with every fiber of our being. Say, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Flow, through flow through me. Make my life, Make my life. what you destined it to be. Make my life what it ought to be. Let's pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Makoto braga de braga de brotoma.
Reke de braga de brage de brodomo ze braga dada. My father, my father, my father, my father, my father. Leka da gadianda mazandaria da brada. Leke de brago do zebria. Indraga da brago do zebra gede gede. Reke de brago do mo zebra gada. Mate bokorima machede. My father, Rekadosa, Ikala Braga da Zandaria, Make de Broco Tosoria, Ikrebeke le Brodomozo, Araga de Brege de Brodomoze Bregede, Reke de Broco Tosha Brigada Brahanda, my father, make my life what you have destined to be, make my life what you ought to be, make my life what you call it to be, make my life what you fashion it to be. Make my life what he meant it to be. Make my life what he ought to be. Make my life how you designed it to be. Make my life naked de bozo. Rekada barama setele. Ikraba shetenderia. Lebra kada barada da 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 dia. Ambro koto senderia. Reke de brato mosombria. Indraga da gada gada gada. Reke de bozo. Ikalabash. Introboromo sente. Reke de bozo torianda. Ma braga da brada mazanda, le brege de broto mosopria, le preke de bokoria, ma secenderia, a placa do mosopriande, lika da brada mose brege de, ma kodo do do braga di bagada, le brege de ge de ge de, ma soprianda. Skele brato mali, makoto sete leba, makele brato masete, reke de boso brigada, inda brigada brogo dozede, le brige de bodo brige de baba, iskanda brianda masondo, reke de bosondo, reke de bosondo, reke de bosondo, le kadiba rama sanda, my father, la kada da 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 da, masoto, ibraga, 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 ibraga. Hibraga, 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 Reke de Moso, Leka di Dada, Atraka Dada, Masobra, Aya Dada, 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 Leke de Masoprata, Imbrocoto, Zebrege, Dege, Dege, Hebraga, Dage, Mosombria, Akayando, Riseke, Opa, Kaziria, Anderebos, Kosobrataya, Ikato sobriande, reke de bosu briga, makada briando, likatosa, eke de bosha, akatosia, 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 makende bosondo, andra barabasende, ekadoska, itrabara, akatosi, ila matonde, intere bosonda, akrababa shende, maprakataya labrandos. Makoto Soria, Reke de Bosso, Aya da 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 Make my life what you ought to be. Make my life what it says should be. Make my life a shekende recado somba entre kele bosa andra kayadaba. Makede de 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 ibrakato sobregede rekede bosotoria lekede baraka da 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 agada baroto mosonda ekede braka ya da 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 aragada gada 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 makada ya da 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 rekede bosoto intakaya 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 Intakaya, 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 lepra katoso para, ragada basoporu, ikatayada, makadadadia, rekede bosoto, aragadabu, epekedeba, ikadaba. 
Sekele baronde. Saprakataya. Reke de bosoto. Leke de bosoria. Reke de bosodo. Ikele besende. Shataya la bariba. Mo preke de bosondo. Reke de bosondo. Reke de bosondo. Shekele baba. Suparatemo. Akele maso. Razakataya. Impakato robo sende. Ikele bosotoria. Mapaka yadada, rakada basoto, ila gada gada garia, reke debo, intazada, ropoko dozia, malege dege dege, shatandaria, inkere bosa, imbraka yala bosa, abraka dozi, ibraka legi, ikatoro masonda, akayada baba, impoko sobria daba, akele bosoria, my father, my father, leka dosa rande le bosi, makede baroshi. Make my life what you have called it to be. Make my life what you call it to be. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Jeken de bara. Maso parika dosia. My father. Leke de borodo masindia. Aya dadariando sunda. Akoto bari. Ika dabasanda. Lepreke de bua. My God. A sheke. Inta baranda. Maso telende brehande. Akaya la brehando. Make my life what you have called it to be. Make my life what you have destined it to be. Make my life against all odds. Against all hearts against all on every chain every financial chain every mysterious chain rakoto somba ikalose rekedebo aya dadada lekadu zayande improkoto sobria akaya dadada lekede masumbriando akaya do sobrigadara lekadu maragada ikadaboro gosende ah lekadoro mosomba misopara kale de 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 in rakada 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 masoto my father my father my father my father my father kasoporo in kelemondo ashekeleba ni superado alagadosi ekeleba shadadadada Skele brada maya da 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 da. Rege de ge de ge de ge de ge de ge de ge de. Rege de ge de ge de ge de ge de ge de ge. Rege de ge de ge de. Sada baraba. Rakadosa. 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 Ale de 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 de. Make my life what you have called it to be. Make my life. What your destiny to be? Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Shakata yada bara bara ba, makoto sopri kada ba, inkelebe sota. My God, ah ya 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 ya, reke de bosotari, makado sopara, ekende barande de bosia, makando kali karabasia. Make my life what you have called it to be. Make my life what your destiny to be. Ah. Let the devil flow through me. Ah, ya da da da. Break every chain. Break every limitation. Break every chain. Ah, ya dosa. My father. My father. Remember your word. Remember your word to me. Remember your word to me. Remember your word to me. Ah, shatanda. Rekende boso. Ah, le paruki. Iso parakadida. Ah, kalika da da da. Ah, seke de ke de ke de. Remember your word. Remember your word. Makoto so para. Ikete baradi, alege de barado, azagadi kada, my God, asoporo melege de de, ragada gada, he preketosa, andre poko sumbria, he kele baranda, my Father. Remember your word, remember your word, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, make my life what you have called it to be, make my life what you have destined to be. Ah, shekendeba, resepa kuti, ikataraba, ropoto sinda, rekedegedege, improkoto sanda, ayagado, masopara, now, 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 now.
now rekado sadadada imprakotoro moko liba repatu zabara gade ebragadadadadadadadada mapoko torekede mikatosu agade gedege makede brotoma asubaraga epekede into zopragade my father my father my father rosopoto Imprecatede, imprecatede, akada bara bara bara. The ragado, our fathers call on you. They were not put to shame. They were enlightened. Masoporo, I call on you now. Holy Ghost, change my life. Holy Ghost, make my life what you have called it to be. Ita sonta, ekeriara. You have not called me to serve in vain. You have not called me to serve in vain. Sekende barado, raka. Skelebrato Moshete Impatara da Sada Akataya Labrato Mosodo Reke de Basuria Rokotoso Le Patata Akadora Makota Rigadada Makodo Godogo Dogo Iso Prakataya Lagadagada Irege de Gedegedege 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 Asapaya da Barabaraba my father, le poto zobara, make de broto mo subriga. Remember your word to me, Lord. Remember your promise to me, Lord. I kato zobara, reke de baraga. O pagati raga daga dagya, araga do zombriande. E pagada zege de briando. Ropo koto zaria, reke de bara. I pato zobreke de moko do bria, reke de baraka zabaraga dada. Ata ya dada dadia, reke de bo. Sketele bosu, rakada brianda, shekende barosu, ikatora baba baba, rekede bosa, imprekede bre bre bre, masodora baba, rakado bosonda, rakada baba baba, ikadorosu, me prekede bre, shetenderia, skele brando, rekede bosu, rakada basanda, rekede bosa, le prakada briande bos, imbaraba shendega. Rakado bosa, rekede bosa, impekelebe, shatayada, rakadozo, rekede bozo, imperegede gede gede, regede bozo brigada baba. Come on, aragada dada, asuna Zion, asuna Zion, asuna Zion travel. Ah, rekede mo subrianda, lekede bukare mo zoba. Ika daga daga rekene mosuria, aka tabrokoto zebria gada, asuna Zion travel, my father, kaso brakante kelia, imparoko sobrianda, akoromo sende, rekede bos, machete ndeleba, skinta brataya, skinta rebo sonda, rekede basu, inka debra kadosa. E calabra dambara mazanda, calibra tomo sonda, requede bosa, e carabacha, requede bos, e calebes, e coroba, requede bos, requede bos, in Jesus. Name we pray. Amen. You may not understand how I, why I pray the way I pray. Mike Mudok said, he said, he said, you can't understand my pain unless you know my vision. So if God has not given you any vision, you can go ahead and go to sleep. If, if your vision is nothing, you can go ahead. And, but I know what God has said to me and showed to me. So I cannot afford, I cannot afford not to pray like I pray. Amen. Bible tells us in 1 Timothy and first Timothy, remember you're talking about a new order. You just put, picture yourself with uh, uh, Jacob. Jacob was like, Angel, this is not what the promise that was given to my grandfather. I'm a shadow of what was promised my grandfather. So he said, I will not let you go unless you do something. Unless, I, I, that, that's the mindset I want you to have. Many of us have been praying around the clock. 
You know, Paul said to Timothy, in 1 Timothy, he said, uh, 1 Timothy 1, for example, I know the promise God gave me at the first snow that has not manifested, and I'm praying seriously that, Lord, this is the perfection. So it's up, it's up to you if you want to just fold your hand. Again, if you, you may close your hand. But even if you don't know how to pray, teach yourself to pray tonight. Because you are, you are in the midst of people who pray. Amen. Let that fire of prayer contact you. Amen. First Timothy 1. Um, 18. Paul was telling Timothy. He said, this charge I commit unto you, unto thee, son Timothy. According to what? Come on, read now. Come on. Made concerning what? That you might what? That you might do what? That you might do what? Now the prophecy concerning this snow is a new order. So it's up to you whether you want to wage the good warfare or not. I've told you before, until the airplane generates enough power, it won't lift up the ground. You may think you've just... Until that... Je until it generates enough power, it will generate enough power to overcome the force of gravity and take on another force with the aerodynamics that makes him to fly forever. So we are going to pray to God. Again, I'm just picking the prayers at random. They can email it to you. You know, so The prayers are there. I'm just going to pick them at random. We're not going to exceed our time. Say, oh Lord, that's number five. I have come for my right to scepter. Let it be returned to me from where it has been taken. He said, that place, you know scepter, right? Your rulership, your, your identity as a firstborn. He said, the scepter will not depart from Judah, nor the ruler start from Judah, until the coming of the one. To, so it belongs to me. You know how many people are, are, are look, thank God for, the, if not for the Holy Spirit, there are some things I'm just finding out in the past. Uh, you know, my wife knows. We just find it. I said, <laughs> I just, well, well, Holy Spirit, only you know. Until the Holy Spirit open who people who are to you, you won't know. That's why you have to wage that battle. Amen. Say, Oh Lord, oh, Lord. I, have I have come for my rightful scepter, my scepter. In, the new order. in the new order. Let it be returned to me. From where it has been taken. Come on, pray in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, I have come for my rightful scepter. Wherever it has been taken, let it be returned to me. Wherever my king, my kingship, my staff of office, wherever my, my symbol of rulership has been taken, let it be returned. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It belongs to me, Lord. It belongs to me, Lord. Ah, the scepter you made for me when I was born. The scepter you made for me before I came into the world. Wherever it has been taken, my father. Let it be returned, let it be returned, let it be returned. Ah, shake le bondo. Sika da paradosia. Ah, rako do brodo mo zebre gede gede gede. So branda li anda ma shende le barabarosi. Scoto barande kelebos. In kelebrendo mo zombara bayende. Se keleboria. Skeleboro brodo. Makoto Shataya. In Jesus' name we pray. I can guarantee you probably not be, we will not be long. So we will not be long. So make sure you pray. Say, my father, my maker. I'm looking at the prayer number eight. I'm just picking around. Collide with anyone 
we intentionally use gifts, food, help, or assistance, advice, or dreams to intentionally harm, manipulate, derail, hurt, or torture me. Pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Sekele barandos. Rekede boroko shikara. Masoto robo kila baraba baraba baraba. Sekele bragada brado mo zende bria baba. Sekende broto mo zende bria baba. My father, my father, collide with anyone who intentionally use gifts, food, help, assistance, advice, or dreams to intentionally harm, manipulate, derail, hurt, or torture me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I, I saw something on YouTube, you know, and I think I shared it. I don't know where, maybe I remember that saw it. There was this guy, he was begging outside. He was outside a car, he was begging. And the woman was there and was, the woman said, ah, you, so so and so so, ah, ah, what are you doing here? You are from London. You are in London. Your father is rich. Your dad, and he was say, ah, who did this to you? He said, that's the same thing. He said, all the siblings, that's what he said. He said, he said, who did this to you? Begging on the street. Huh? She was praying. She said, ah, whatever you need to do, go and do it. And she was just cursing the person who did that to them. Hmm. Do you know many of us are in that situation? Until the Lord begins to open. I, there are some violent prayers I pray until God, the Lord begins to open my eyes. I say, okay, Lord, thank you. There are some people that have been with you all along. And you think these are the people that are, that's why we pray that prayer. That they are helping you. But they are the one behind whatever we're going through. Amen. Amen. Say, my father in the name of Jesus. Enter my maternal and paternal foundation. Every replay of evil. Manifestation in my life. Expire by fire. Pray in the name of Jesus. Moko so barade. Rekete barama shada. Ikada baragada gada 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 gada. Regede gede gede gede. Ibragado zombre gede gede gede. Makodo bregede re. Izo brada nari andama shende. Rekete bodo baraba baba ba. My father. Koso barande. Ikelebe. Irakoto sombaria. Every replay of evil manifestation in my life. Expire by fire. Enter my maternal foundation. Enter my paternal foundation. Expire by fire. Expire by fire. Remando sotondo. Skelebratoma shende. In Jesus' name we pray. The Holy Spirit is that we should take more prayers. So please bear with me. We should take more prayers. We'll probably take them short. My father, my father. Confuse the hearing. Sight and perception of my adversaries. That's number six. So that they won't know where my blessing and help is coming from. Powers that intercept your blessing. You know, all, all, all Rebecca did was heard. She heard what was going to happen to Esau. And she just truncated his life. My father, my father. Confuse the hearing, the sight, perception of my adversaries so that they won't know where my blessing and my help is coming from. Pray in the name of Jesus. Rakadoma Sondaria. Le Pratoma Yende Labos. Le Kede Barandos. Shekende Barandos. Le Pratoma Kelebo Sundria. In Kelebe Sotande. Skelebrados. Say, my father, reroute my divine helpers from the palace of Herod to me. Reroute my divine helpers from the palace of Herod to me. Pray in the mighty name of Jesus. My father, reroute my divine helpers from the palace of Herod to me. Reroute my divine helpers from the palace of Herod to me. In the name of Jesus. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Number 10. My Father, in the name of Jesus, let every power and person empty my wealth and virtue in my dreams. Meet their end now. Pray in the name of Jesus. My Father, Makrokoto Zabrigalebosh. Mareke de broto mozobria. Raka de broto mozobara. Let every power, let every person empty my wealth and virtue. In my dreams, meet the end. Now, 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 now. Reke de bosotoria. Shekele barondos. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. We'll take two more prayers and go to a little administration and we'll end it. Father, that's, that's the next one. According to Psalm 1845, everywhere the enemy has been hiding all the years to torment me and prevail according to your word, let them be afraid and flee out of the hiding places by fire. Pray in the name of Jesus. Rekato basubara, makete barande se. Come on, come on. Sheke de barandos. Everywhere the enemy has been hiding to torment me, to prevail over me, to prevail over my business, to prevail over my finances. Let fire locate you. Be afraid. Flee out of your hiding places. In the name of Jesus. Kelemando sotoriga. Rakatoso Barade. In Jesus' name we pray. We'll take the prayer for us of change. And uh, we're going to take the prayer of Jabez also. We want to combine all this prayer of us of change. Father, start a new order in us of change by giving and showing us what it takes to take this city for you. Uh, every prayer, I have to package it with the will of God. Show us what it takes. You know, uh, since I had that prayer for one of my father, you know, and and that has helped them to like explode. Say, Father, Lord, what does it take for me to take this city? Father, start a new order in house of change by giving and showing us what it takes. To take this entire city for you. And then the next one, we're also going to pray the next one also together. Father, begin a new order of 100% retention of souls in house of change. We're going to take those two together. Let's pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, start a new order in house of change by giving us, showing us what it takes. So take this entire city for you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Begin a new order of what it takes to take this city for you. And a new order of retention of souls. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. I must follow my time. We can pray the rest later on. Just want to minister as the Lord laid upon my spirit. Um, there's someone here. You, I don't know. You feel the form. You may close your eyes. You feel the form. Maybe a form or, or application. But I think it looks like the benefit or the benefit is supposed to be for two people. But you, you feel both. But as separate for two people. But it's coming to you. If you are the person, raise up your hand. Because that is not... It's not right before God. If you are the person, raise up your hand. If you don't raise up your hand, um, we don't pray for you. We go and settle with God. You, you, I don't know whether it's a form, or, but there's a benefit that was supposed to accrue to maybe two people or so or more than, but the way you presented it, all the benefits actually come to, I mean, even though you may say A and B, but they actually come to you. They're actually coming to you. If you are the person, raise up your hand. We'll pray for you. If, if you don't raise up your hand, we'll move to the next thing. Father, we thank you. 
um, there's another person. I don't know whether you're here or you're watching. I think your left kidney has a problem. If you're watching us or you're, or you're here, raise up your hand. Your left kidney has a problem. Your left kidney has a, has a problem. And if you're watching me, what the Lord said is you just, I studied prayer, just pray on any water and believe God and drink it and that will be it. Father, we give you praise for it. And someone, uh, another person, the Lord showed me that you, it's like everything you're doing, it's like your leg is stuck. It's like every time you're trying to move. You know, you think you're moving, but it's like your, your leg is stuck in one place. Almost like when somebody put a glue every time you, I mean, you think you're moving, but there's no movement. If that's you, raise up your hand. I will pray with you. <clears throat> Father, we thank you. Father, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, let the fire of the Holy Ghost that set people free from the bondage and clutches of the enemy, let it set you free in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Because God has seen you, the same power of the Holy Spirit set you free in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord said, I should tell somebody that you shall be celebrated. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. As someone here, I saw that one, you know, I saw the person, but the person is not here tonight, but we'll pray for them anyway. Father, that person that the enemy has want to visit their family with sorrow, sorrow shall be far from your family in Jesus' name. Amen. The sorrow meant for you shall go on the head of your enemies. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you. You have told us to pray. All we can do is pray. But we know in the book of 1 John, your, your words say you hear us. Not only did you hear us, you will do what you have petitioned of you. We we'll believe that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you, are, you have begun a new order in our lives. Amen. When we step out here, we will meet favor. Amen. When we sleep tonight, angels will do constructive surgery in our lives. Amen. Father, we give you the praise. Hallelujah. Let tomorrow morning be greater. Amen. Let tomorrow evening be greater. Amen. Let Friday be the greatest. Amen. And we we'll vow to give you all the glory. Hallelujah. In Jesus' victorious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for 